to Calco. These bars we have here, these oblong bars, they are to fit uh, an E-type. So, unfortunately, what's the problem is, is they're not long enough to take the XK body and rotate it. So we have to extend them. So I've got exactly the same material, but it's 80 centimetres long, longer. <coughs> and what we're going to do is attach them. We'll butt weld these to the bars here. But what we'll do is we'll fit these slugs into them. We've made these up from four centimetre box section and some uh, off cuts. So these will slide inside this piece. They will slide inside there. Um, and then what we'll do is drill some holes on the outer side to, to uh, um, puddle weld them and then do a complete fillet weld all the way around where the two bars come together. So what we'll do is we're just going to take this one first and we'll pop this one on, so the spacer, take that in and then the bar on top which will make the slug. You can do the same thing with uh, tubulars, you can fit a, a round bar, piece of round bar stock inside and use it as a slug to, to keep the bar straight and put more strength in it where the weld is, <coughs> or either side of the weld in fact. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to start that now. Okay, so this is the, uh, with, there was nuts welded on here and obviously what they did originally was is to use the nuts to capture the internal part to stop it sliding. So this is the piece I made up, I just welded this up and then this slides inside there. In fact, what happened here was is this was slightly offset so one corner was over here and one corner was on the other side so this is a much better fit. In fact even though I had not set it up correctly this is absolutely straight and it's less of a, it's, it's maybe a little bit uh, less on it. I should have put one one side and one box the other. So we've drilled these holes in these plus these which we'll weld and then we'll do a complete uh, butt weld all the way around and we'll chamfer off the, the edges and show you and that should extend it to exactly the length we need. So we've got this all lined up nice and straight, nice uh, bit into the joint. These are the holes that we drilled through the new piece. So what we'll do now is we can turn it over. Okay. And we can check again. A little level. There's a bit of rust on there, might have to clean that. Uh, spot on, isn't it? Oh, look at that. It's right on the money. Absolutely. Brilliant. And then we can puddle weld these and then we'll do a complete fillet weld all the way around that should be as, as uh, strong as you can make it. Just a, a double to put a slug in there but it's worth it. Right. Nice look at that. Lovely consistent weld. All the way through it. Where are we going? On the side? side. This way? Yeah. Crackle. So, as you can see, there's them puddle welds there. And then it's been welded right the way around. So that's welded inside all the way around. And the same on there. And with that uh, slug inside it and make it even stronger. So tomorrow I'm not even going to grind down the welds, there's no need. <coughs> tomorrow I'll just clean all this rust back and then prime it just to stop it getting even rustier than it was. Unfortunately these bars were sat in the bottom and got a bit of damp on them. And, yeah. But uh, I think I can't remember how many cars have been done on this one, five or six I think. It's been a great bit of kit. Bought it from a guy in England and then we've modified it as we've gone on. So there you go, all done. Just, uh, and you can just, just rotate it. There you go, let's see the wells. Nice strong wells. So, and then this has just got a lock on the end here. This is where we modified it. The nice thing about this setup on this is that you can adjust it. <coughs> so you can adjust this, this arm comes up. So you can adjust it here and you can also adjust it down here. So it goes through here 
this goes up and down so you can get it exactly where you want it my center of balance I mean the problem with jigs is you know, people think that they should rotate easily I mean for the amount of time you're actually rotating them is minimal you tend to put it in one position and lock it off so the fact that it doesn't spin super fast or super easy is not really uh, I mean, it's better to have it balanced obviously so one person can do it so so there it is complete the jig uh, this piece is a bar we made up um, for my XK because there were some problems with the bottom of it so that, that basically goes up that way and then we have to make new ones now the reason I'm making new ones you, you might remember that we had bars that were actually stainless steel and they were the proper length but they're actually on the other XK 150 in Czechia uh, they're using it for painting and They've got it on their rotisserie, so that's why we had to make another set of bars. So the E-types will still fit on this. In fact, it'll, you know, it'll use, you can use uh, for anything. And if you've got one where it's a unibody, you can just take these bars off and attach it from the front to uh, bumper mount on either side. We've done that same thing with a Mini. We have another, we use the same jig for doing the Minis. Um, so all we've got to do now is set it up. We've got to do some work on the front of the car, so hopefully by the weekend, after the weekend, we can think about putting on, but we have to take the boot off, the doors, the bonnet, and we have some things to do on the front wing before we take it off the chassis. Then we can put it on here, set it all up, and then roll the chassis where this is right now, and then cover the chassis up. And uh, after Christmas and New Year, we'll be ready to bang on with it. So, there you go. So there's a chap called Chris who lives in uh, Austria, he's, he's right up near uh, Linz and he's just bought an he's uh, in the Jaguar Enthusiast Club and he called me last week so if you look at him Chris, that's good so this is how we've made it and as we go on and build the bits I'll film that so you can see it the reason I say that is, um, as I say, Chris has got an XK150 fixed head coupe and He's, he's going to start restoring it soon. He's got to strip it and what have you. So by the time we're finished with this, I'm going to lend him the, the jig. He'll come down and get it from uh, Lintz. It's up near the border. And um, and he, he can use it for as long as he likes. I'll just lend it to him. And I'll uh, get it back off him after a, a year or two or however long it takes him to do it. So there you go. Uh, we do have bars for the bottom bit as well. Uh, but to be honest, it's that strong you don't really need them, but I'll have a measure up and see if those E-type bars will go through. Um, they might be too short, but I'm, to be honest, they're in the way. Well, you're stepping over them constantly if you, if you put the bar in this bottom piece. So there you go. So on that note, uh, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby, and we'll bring you up for the next update as we move on.